What is up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to show you how to get better at Vim, how to move faster, and some resources that you can dive right into so that if you're just starting out using Vim or if you've been using it for a few months or years, then you can invest extra time and get a little bit faster and more optimal in how you use it. So let's jump into it and I'll show you a few different ways on how to improve. Okay, so the first one is probably pretty obvious. You should just use Vim. So if you aren't already using it in your daily workflow, then start incorporating it as much as possible. You should be using it as your main editor and the way that you actually incorporate those shortcuts, just getting that muscle memory. It takes about 10,000 hours to get better at a skill, so make progress on that as much as possible. The next thing I'd recommend is start with the basics, make sure you've mastered those. So the normal like HJKL movement, and then once you've mastered that and you're really comfortable with it, then things like W, B, F, and T to be able to jump really fast inside of a line, and then doing like D and U to be able to jump up and down really quickly, or other vertical commands so that you can get fast at navigating a file. If you didn't know it existed already, there's actually a little tutorial that comes with Vim. It's called Vim Tutor, and you can write that in your command line, and it gives you a nice tutorial that you can follow along to give you from the basics all the way to some more advanced tips. Another thing you should always use is the like and subscribe button. So hit those, and it helps the channel. That way others can see this video, and they'll be able to learn from all this content too. The next one that we're gonna jump into is learning from others. There's a ton of resources out there. The first one being YouTube. So obviously this is self-explanatory. You're here on YouTube, so you probably have watched other videos on Vim. Continue doing that. You're gonna learn awesome tips and tricks. Another one that you really wanna dive into if you're a real Vim ninja that wants to count every keystroke, you should check out Vim Golf. I'll put a link in the description of all these different resources so you can check them out. But Vim Golf is a really nice way to work on your Vim Foo and do things way more succinctly, kind of in the same vein as YouTube videos and other screencasts. There's a really excellent resource called Vimcast. It goes from practical tips all the way to advanced editing techniques and then provides an in-depth explanation for all of that using demonstrations. So Vimcast is a really excellent way to level up your Vim knowledge. If you're into books and you love reading those, there's a couple that I'd recommend, which is Learning VI and Vim, and then also one that is probably referenced across the community is Practical Vim by Drew Neal. I'll post a link again in the description of all this so you can check it out, but that's a really comprehensive guide on how to use Vim, both advanced and basic techniques, so you can have a nice foundation and then build on top of that. If you haven't come across it already, there's the Vim Tips Wiki that has a vast collection of tips and tricks and also techniques that you can slot into your Vim RC or other way you're configuring Vim. Next up is Vim communities. So these can be different blogs or articles or different actual communities like Reddit. I would also suggest going to the dev.2 Vim resource. There's a ton of awesome articles there that you can check out. You know, again, going from basic to advanced and sharing all the different tips and tricks that people have come across. And there's some really awesome stuff in there. So check that one out. Next up, you can check out some GitHub repositories. These will have all kinds of different plugins, configurations, and scripts that you can slot into your config. And some of the more popular ones include things from T Pope or Tim Pope, uh, who you've probably also run across if you've used any Vim plugins, and then things like Vim scripts. And then Last but not least, Vim Awesome, which is a showcase for all the popular Vim plugins. So check out some GitHub repositories so you can see different configurations and shared code that you can plug in and learn from. Last but not least, it would be a shame not to mention that Vim has its own help and documentation. So just type colon help and you can dive into any of the tools or commands that Vim offers and get right in your editor a way to understand how they work, what the commands are, and then all the different flags and options that are presented for them. I personally like using this first, that way I have an understanding of how something works or can like kind of dig into it, make a hypothesis of how I think it's going to work before I jump to YouTube or some of the screencasts or other resources. That way I can build up my foundation and I'm not constantly jumping to Googling for my problems 
where I have to wade through all the different things that don't make sense. An honorable mention here, I would say just talk to other Vim users. So you can reach out to Twitter or other social media accounts where you know people are Vim users and they will gladly share all of their config options, ways that they have added shortcuts to improve their Vim editing experience. Just ask people. They will share their configuration, their sh they'll share their dot files, and usually it's on GitHub, so it's easy to browse and see if there's some things that you could learn from it. Now, I will mention that some of this can be very overwhelming because some Vim users have been adapting their dot files for decades upon decades. So there may be some crazy stuff within that. It may be a little overwhelming. So watch out for that if you're gonna look at config files and dot files. The last item I'll mention is don't overwhelm yourself. It's a nice segue from what I just talked about where someone can spend decades editing Vim and their custom experience, but that can be incredibly overwhelming. I think that there's kind of a pressure in the community to do Vim and you know, it's meant to be learned gradually. It's meant to be a productivity tool so that you, you can edit code faster and get your ideas from your head into the keyboard and then into the computer so they can execute wherever they need to execute. So don't be afraid to incorporate something, try it out. But if it doesn't work for you, don't use it. Like it's just gonna slow you down in the long run and maybe you'll come back to it in a few years or something else. Make sure that you're going at your own pace and learning as you go because that's the fun of it. So enjoy your Vim, and if you like videos like this, then please like and subscribe. It truly helps the channel, and I appreciate you watching to the end. I'll see you in the next one.